happy Monday or Sunday for some of you still. Today's video, I'm using the Shaney Cosmetics palette that is absolutely huge to create this peacock look. And I have wanted to do a peacock look for absolute ever, but I didn't have the right colors. So when I finally got this enormous palette with pretty much every color under the rainbow in it, I thought now is the time to do it. If you want to see how to recreate this look, keep on watching. So first I want to create a base and the color will stick to it better and it will be a more true vibrant color. So I don't really have any cream shadows that are as bright as I want so instead I'm taking this gel liner that is a vivid teal color and on a shader brush I'm just going to pop that all over my eyeball and now I'm gonna leave a little bit of space just in the outer corner because I'm gonna be putting a purple color there instead now you don't need to keep this too precise but you do want to keep it kind of underneath where your natural crease would be and you don't want to bring it over and into your nose area so applying that all over there. On a different flat shader brush, I'll be taking this bright purple color and applying that into my outer V. Now I'm working one eye at a time and rather quickly so that I make sure that the product doesn't completely dry before I place powder over top of it. Because it makes it a lot easier to stick to when it's a little bit damp still. So place it in a relatively V format. and slowly fill in that little corner. I am going to gently blend the edges of that. And if you drag it into your crease, that is perfect. On a different shader brush, I'm picking up this teal color right here, and I'm gonna place that all over top of where I put the teal on my eye. So just patting it on. Now onto a pencil brush, I'm going to be taking this purple color that's in this upper corner here, and I'm going to trace over where I've already put the purple on my eye. At first just pat it in, and then start to drag once you've already applied the product. It just helps so that you don't get a ton of fallout. And you can also trace it into your crease a little bit with just little pushing motions. And don't worry, we will blend this all out a lot more later. I just want to make sure that we do have the color placed in the right spots. Now right in this outer corner, right here where the blue meets the purple, I'm going to add a bit of green. So going into my palette again, I'm going to be picking up this color right here and putting that onto a short flat shader brush. And make sure to tap off any excess and up and down with your brush and just press it right where those two colors meet. And I'm just gonna dab it on and slowly drag it in towards the blue so that it fades that way. Flip the brush over so that there's no product on the other side and I'm going to slowly do the same on the other. So dragging the purple into the green. The point is to just create a subtle, subtle ombre effect. You don't really want it to look bright green but you just want a little tiny pop of that color. Taking a tapered blending brush, I am again just going to go over top and slowly blend that color in. Once I think it is blended enough, I'm then going to blend out my crease. Onto this thicker pencil brush, I'm going into the palette and I'm taking this color right here. It's like a lighter mermaid teal color and I'm going to put that on the inside corner of my eye. I will do a bit of a highlight after, but I want it to just fade into that highlight so it's a lighter effect on the inner corner. So, placing it in and just blending it into where the blue already was. And since it is shimmery, it's going to contrast the blue that's in the middle of my eye. I will add a little bit of a lighter highlight on the very tear duct of it, but for now this just helps it blend into that lighter color. Just like that. At this point, I'm going to catch up my other eye to this stage, and I will be right back. Taking Color Revolution Brown Eyed Girl number one onto a small pencil brush, I'm going to put that into my inner corner. And I want to be semi-precise with it. I'm going to drag it underneath my eye here, but I don't want it to get up into the blue area. I just want to lightly blend the edges. Going back to the smaller brush that I had the gel liner on, I'm grabbing the one that had purple on it. I'm going to connect the outer bit of purple onto my lower lash line. And I don't want to pick up more product, I just want to use whatever product I have left over on the brush as I don't want it to be too overwhelming underneath my lash line. 
So I'm going to drag it about halfway in. Taking a tissue and cleaning off that brush as best as I can, I'm going to now go back to the powder purple color that I used in the Shiny palette, and I'm going to put that over top of this color. Tap off the excess so you don't have any fallout, and gently press over top of where you just went. Make sure this part connects right out here. On an angled brush, going back to the blue color that we had had earlier, I'm going to press that along the outside of where I just put the purple, just so that it has another gradient effect underneath the eye, mimicking the top lid. Try to keep this quite close to your lash line. You don't want to bring it too far down. Going back to a small pencil brush, I'm going to blend that purple into that blue. For liner, I don't want to distract from the color, so I'm going to use a liquid liner and do a super thin line right across the top of my lid. I'm going to be using the Napoleon liner because it has a really, really tiny little tip. I'm going to press it along my lash line. Once you get to the end, I'm going to create a little tiny flick. So press and just drag and connect it with the rest of your eye. So now I'm going to take my eyelash curler and curl my lashes. When I was in Perth, I forgot my eyelash curler and I felt so naked without curling my lashes before I put mascara on them. I don't know, it just felt really weird. Anyways, I'm going to be taking, if I can find it, my Dior Show mascara and putting a very generous coat on the top and bottom lashes. So of course it's up to you whether or not you want to use fake lashes, but I am. So I'm using the 102 Demis from Ardell. I'll pop these on and I will be right back. Okay, now taking my Smolder pencil from MAC and doing my upper waterline. For any of you that are new to my channel and would like to see me putting on my fake eyelashes, I have an entire video dedicated to it, so I never show it in my actual tutorials just to save time. But I will link that video down below for you to check out if you are interested. I have a special little trick that works really well. Now taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Electric Blue, and I'm going to take that onto a angular brush right here. And I like to do it on an angled brush because it just applies it a lot more precisely along my bottom waterline. Just because the Jumbo Pencils are huge. <laughs> okay. And along the very inner inside rim of my eyes, I'm taking Fascinating by MAC, and I am just lining that there. Grabbing my brow kit from Sigma, I am using the lightest color and filling in my eyebrows. And I like to set my brows using the brow gel in that kit as well. For a highlight, I'm taking my angled fluffy brush and in the shiny kit on this top upper corner, I'm using that one right there. And it is kind of like an ivory color. It is a matte looking color. And I'm just going to place that right underneath my brow bone. Taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20, I am taking that onto my Sigma Precision Flat Angle P88 brush, and I'll put a bit of that Pro Longwear on my finger and dab it just underneath my eyes here. So I like to do it in kind of a triangle shape, and with whatever leftover, I put that in the middle of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. taking my beauty blender and just blending that out. Now I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent and my XO Beauty Brush and just patting it on my T-zone to set all of my cream makeup. Once that's on, I'm taking my Bourjois Chocolate Bronzing Powder and my Sedona Lace Tulip Brush and I'll be doing a little bit of contouring, not anything heavy though. Just adding a bit more color to my cheeks and temples.
Using Max Peony Petal, I'm going to be applying that onto my cheeks with a Shaney Cosmetics blush brush. I love the handles on these, they are such a cute pink. With my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, I'm taking my fingers and just doing a bit of a highlight on my cheeks. And I always blend it up onto my brow bone as well. With whatever leftover product, I'm putting that on my cupid's bow. Okay, let's finish it off with some Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray, and we're good to go! So this is my final look everyone. Of course you could also add a lip color like a bright pink or a nude, but I'm okay with just my lip smackers that I applied before I started doing the tutorial. My lips are nice and moisturized still anyway. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see the look a little better. This is such a fun look to try out, so if you do end up doing it, make sure you do tweet me a photo or hashtag at satnightalright on Instagram and I will come and find it. I hope you enjoyed today's look. Don't forget that I have my new vlog channel up. I will link it down below. And I'm also posting every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. So that is my new schedule for videos. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye! <laughs>